Hey, what is up guys? It's Deadstorm here and I am bringing you a how-to video on how to put music behind your voice in a gameplay. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in Windows Live Movie Maker just for the fact that all of you are pretty much guaranteed to have this program. If you are a Mac user, kudos to you. You guys already have a default program that is pretty awesome. You can make some awesome videos, render in HD and all that. Us PC users, not so much. Windows Live Movie Maker though, if you learn enough about it, if you experiment with it enough, you can do some cool things. Problem that I've had is that I have not been able to output my videos in HD. I'll check the option right now. I think you can do it, but it's going to be an extremely large file and it will take forever to upload to YouTube. My video editing program that I use nowadays is way better at rendering the file and making it more compatible for YouTube. Thing is, like I said, I don't think a lot of you have that program. So we'll start with this. We're going to add the music right now. And we're going to use Anutsu Man on the Run for this video. Hold on. It's a really good song. A lot of you liked it. In fact, a lot of you asked me what the song was when I had used it as background music. Another thing I'd like to mention is that this song is uncopyrighted because I don't use copyrighted songs in my videos anymore. All right, so we have the song here. Now, what Windows Live Movie Maker does is even if the song is longer than the gameplay itself, it's going to cut it off. It's not going to continue the song. The program I use nowadays would just continue the song past the video. So we'll see what it ends on in this program. All right, that's pretty close to the end of the song as is anyway, so this is going to be a pretty easy edit. Sometimes I would have to mess with playback speed and all that, but nothing to mess with. This looks good. This is something I can do with. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the video volume itself because we want to have the music, just the music behind our voice. We can't have three different sounds clashing in a video. It's not going to sound good. So basically you go into video tools and you just turn this slider all the way down. Your video is muted. Now another thing you can do is right in here, you can turn the music volume down from here if you're thinking towards the future. Basically what I'm saying is that you're going to have to turn this volume down anyways, but I would prefer to do it when I put my voice over it just so I can judge it from there. Basically what's going to happen is when we save this video file here, it's going to pretty much make the audio of the song hard-coded onto the video or whatever. I don't really know how to explain it any better. Basically. That's going to be the new video volume right here, the song. And then we're going to put our voice over it, and then you just go into video tools and edit the video volume from there. So I'm just going to leave it full. Now what we're going to do is we are going to save this movie, and we're going to save it for a computer. That is not HD, whatever. It keeps the file size small, and that's what I used to do. This is some basic stuff. If you want to go for high-definition display, Go ahead, be my guest. I haven't tried it, so I don't know if it will keep the frame and everything and if it will make it so it takes up the whole screen. I don't know. But basically, we're going to save it for the computer. And we will name it Music Sample. And I'll save it to my desktop because I'm not going to use this gameplay, obviously. So now what Windows Live Movie Maker is doing right now is it's compressing the file along with putting the music onto the video as the video volume. So we're going to speed up this part and I will be back with you guys as soon as this process is over. 
And we are back. I would like to mention that I did not end up speeding that up, but it's all right, guys. I didn't want to waste your time. Whatever. Let's get back into this. So the video itself had compressed the song, as you can see, on top of it. Actually, you really can see it right now. It's just going to show the editing that we had done. We're not going to go into this. We're just going to close it out and not save it because the video file itself is made. And the video file should be on my desktop somewhere here. It's right there. 275 megs, very compressed. Let's reopen it with Windows Live Movie Maker. All right, now I'm gonna play it just to show you that we have the music and not the game audio over the gameplay. All right, so there's none of those Call of Duty sounds, whatever, but like I said, this is just the music that's going to go behind your voice. And if you didn't notice, the music volume itself is pretty high. We, we will take care of that later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a commentary over it. I'm just going to add a random commentary of mine. It was a pretty good <laughs> commentary, actually. It was my school stories continued. We're just going to use that. I think it's even longer than this video. But like I said, we're not going to get one that fits with it. Whatever. So now we're just going to listen to it as it is, with the music volume being loud and the voice. Hi guys, it's Dead Storm here, and as promised, I am bringing you this set. I don't know if you guys really noticed, but the music and the voice were conflicting a little bit. And in this program, it's not going to show you exactly how much they're going to conflict, just because the music file aka my commentary is pretty much the primary sound file in this editing software one thing i need to tell you though is if you do save it as it is when you do play it on youtube or if you do play it in windows media player you're gonna have a hard time hearing that person's voice so my best advice to you is to lower the uh, video volume aka the music to about half, maybe a, le a little less than half, and it will make that stuff soft and not too annoying. So I just did that. It should make the commentary better. Hi guys, it's Dead Storm here, and as promised, I am bringing you. That is great. You really can't hear the music. It's not going to bug you. If you really want to pay attention to my voice and not the music, it's perfect. So. Anyways, that is how you put music behind a, your voice in Windows Live Movie Maker. As I said, if the music does not fit the video, there's many things you can do. You can fade out the song. You can change the playback speed of the video. If you change the playback speed, though, you're going to lose the game audio. So if you're not really doing watching this video to learn how to put music behind your voice, but just to learn different aspects of Windows Live Movie Maker, I would like to mention that speeding or slowing down the video is going to take away the game audio. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. All we're going to do now is save the movie for a computer. I am not going to do that, though, because I don't really want to make this video for YouTube. But that is how you would do it. Once it's done compressing, the video should be good and it should be good to upload. I hope you guys have a great day, as I will too. Peace, guys.